Hey there, VCHHD students. My name's Andy. I'm a VC Health and Human Development teacher. In this short video, we're going to look at understanding burden of disease. This is relevant for both Unit 1 and Unit 3 VCHHD for the 2025 to 2029 study design. As you can see here on this slide, there's a number of ways you can engage with the Health Resources Hub. We've got our social media. You can follow us on Instagram and TikTok and also on our Facebook page, or you can send us an email to info at the hh.net.au. So what parts of the course does burden of disease relate to? So if you're doing unit one, you can see here, you need to know health status indicators and burden of disease is mentioned as one of those. If you're doing unit three, you also need to understand health status indicators. Not only is burden of disease mentioned in unit three, but also disability adjusted life years, years of life lost and years lived with disability. So we'll look at all of those terms. And if you are doing unit one, this is, I guess, a bit more extensive or a bit more maybe detail than you might need to know, but it's a good way to start thinking about what you'll need to know as you progress through unit three and four. Okay, so what is important to know about burden of disease? So we'll start with a bit of a description of the different terms that are relevant. So when referencing burden of disease with my students, I like to sort of use the example of your parents perhaps saying to you, hopefully they don't say this to you, but if they did say to you that you'll say a burden on this household, you might be thinking that they're talking about the impact that you might be having on the house. So it might mean because you're using lots of things in the house, whether that be sort of food or using lots of resources, whether that be things like the TV and the internet. So if you think about a health condition, health conditions can be linked to the burden of disease. And so you can see there, the burden of disease is a measure of the impact of diseases and injuries. So it's how much of an impact a particular disease or condition or injury is having on a particular population. And so that could be the population of Australia. So then it goes on to say specifically, it measures the gap between current health status and an ideal situation where everyone lives to an old age free of disease and disability. Burden of disease is measured in a unit called disability adjusted life year. So basically what burden of disease is looking at is when you perhaps develop a particular health condition, how many years of life have been lost due to either dying prematurely from that health condition or living with that health condition and it having an impact on your life? And by measuring this burden of disease, we can sort of compare different health conditions to see which ones might have a bigger impact in a population than others. So you can see that the second point, DALI or disability adjusted life years is how burden of disease is measured. So the description says a measure of burden of disease, one DALI equals one year of healthy life lost due to premature death and time lived with illness, disease or injury. So essentially what happens is um, I guess data scientists around the country gather up all the information that they can regarding the impact of different health conditions and they put it into this formula to work out the DALI. And so that formula is YLL plus YLD and we'll look at that on the next slide in a bit more detail. So the YLL, as you can see there at the bottom of the slide, mentions a measure of how many years of expected life are lost due to premature death. So say you're expected to live, if you're a female in Australia, to around 85 years, but say you died at 75 years because of a health condition like cancer, you've lost 10 years of your life, okay, because you've died prematurely, you didn't live to your 85 year life expectancy as a result of cancer. So that's 10 years of YLL. Then there's YLD, a measure of how many years of healthy life are lost due to illness, injury, or disability. And so YLD is more about the impact of living with a health condition. Once again, it could be something like cancer and how that can reduce the number of healthy years you live in life. So you'll see here, there's this formula that I talked about, DALI equals YLL plus YLD. So for all different health conditions like cancer and cardiovascular disease and type 2 diabetes, you can work out the burden of disease by measuring the DALI. And so it's a combination of the number of years of life lost due to premature death plus the number of years lost due to living with a health condition. And so you can see there, YLL and YLD are equal in value. They both represent one year of life lost and some can conditions contribute greater to YLL and others contribute greater to YLD. So what that means is that for some conditions, people are more likely, unfortunately, to die prematurely with those conditions and not live with them. Okay, so they're more likely to contribute to YLL than YLD. And so a condition would be, for example, cancer, where people are probably more likely, unfortunately, to desire to die prematurely from that. Okay, but some people still do live with that condition as well. And so both YLL and YLD are still relevant to cancer, but probably more YLL than YLD. 
Whereas another condition, perhaps like mental health conditions or mental ill health, people are more likely to live with that condition than perhaps die prematurely from it. So the DALI that's calculated for it might be greater for the YLD compared to the YLL. But as you can see down the bottom there, and as I mentioned, for all conditions, both YLL and YLD contribute to the overall burden or the overall DALI for that particular condition. While we're on this slide, you can see at the bottom there, there is a um, reference to the free student newsletter that I've got for unit three and four students. So I send out a newsletter twice a term with lots of SAC tips and advice and free resources. So if you head to our website, the hih.net.au, you'll see there's a link there to register for that if you're a unit three and four student. Okay, so here's a sample question and answer. So the question is using the health condition cancer as the basis of your answer, outline how that can contribute to both YLLs and YLDs. So the sample answer there says that cancer is a condition that many people may live with that reduces their quality of life, such as following treatment like chemotherapy, and therefore that could contribute to healthy years of life lost due to living with that illness, injury, or disease. And in this case, we're talking about cancer. And so that's why LDs, because we're not talking about at this point somebody dying from cancer, but we're talking about a reduced quality of life. But then in the second sentence there, cancer may also contribute to someone dying prematurely, and this would therefore contribute to years of life lost due to premature death or the YLLs. So hopefully that helps you to understand how for all conditions, okay, you get your YLLs and your YLDs, okay, so they both contribute to that overall burden and DALIs, but depending on the type of condition, some contribute more to YLLs and some contribute more to YLDs. So in some future videos, we'll look at some different examples of sort of data, um, and I'll show you some examples that are related to YLLs and YLDs in graphs, and hopefully that'll help you to get a sense of some of this as well. Okay, for Unit 3 and 4 students, just a reminder, I've worked on this revision questions book um, with ACE for the new study design across 2025 to 2029. It's got over 500 marks worth of practice questions, ideal for SAC and exam preparation. It's got sample A plus answers, as well as a whole chapter on extended response. So if you head to book.acevc.com, you can order a copy of that. They're going into the post daily. And you can also head to our website where there's more opportunities for HHD students and teachers. Okay, thanks so much.